films and cam girls and streaming and all of that needed more bandwidth. And I think that was one of the main factors because sex sells, right? So uh, kind of a comment actually. I was, uh, I was talking to one of the sysadmins of a really gigantic porn site and uh, he was telling me that the security problems they have are a little different than anyone else. Apparently, they had a problem where all of a sudden no one was buying subscriptions anymore. And they traced it back that, um, well, there was a piece of spyware. What this spyware would do is it had in its EULA, check out this advance, in their EULA they said, we reserve the right to deem certain sites as unsafe and we will route your transaction to a site we consider safe. So what this spyware was doing was it would hijack your attempt to buy a subscription to one porn site, give the money to someone else and make you think you were actually accessing the first porn site. So um, it's an entirely different world out there, and I think through the wasn't it true that the, through the late '90s, most traffic on the net, like most hosting providers, got like all their money from porn. Um, there are no numbers, so I can't tell you for sure. I would like I would like to see the definition which you which you just. Uh, I'm a little bit obsessive. Uh, dealing with computers and uh, it seemed to me that any feature movie can be pornography by your definitions and I just thought that maybe you should just add uh, word sex. <laughs> if you can just, if you can just um, show us again the definition of pornography which you... Maybe I just uh, missed that. Um, If you don't know what pornography is, I think that we need just a little word. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Hello? I'm here. Hello? Over here. Left side. Left side. Um, do you know if there are, are there really some big effects of the becoming of pornography which becomes more popular and the sexual behavior of people? Like is there, are there surveys comparing sexual behavior 50 years ago and today and are there connections between pornography and, and this behavior? Well, it depends on the pornography of course. Um, uh, if you watch, uh, for example, mainstream pornography with, um, I mean, those people who, they're like trained athletes, yeah? They, they insert something of the size of a bowling ball into themselves, and you can't do that at home without having trained that. And so, mm, I should assume that things like that, um, they're, um, add to the, the abstraction of pornography and are not repeated in the bedroom. But of course, um, as the, um, it's, not, it's not horrible anymore to have a certain kind of fetish because everyone knows everyone has one. So, and the pornography reflects that. There's um, much more diverse kinds of, of pornography and much more different kinds of pornography now than say in the 20s. And um, I think that's the kind of connection you're looking for because it's not, pervert, it's not perverted anymore to have some kind of preference for feet or glasses or yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, not children! <laughs> no, not that. So just to add, do you see any bad influence on becoming porn more popular? Uh, hmm? Again here. Do you see any bad influence of uh, the popularization of pornography? Well, there are studies to uh, pretty much any result, um, but I have read a study that um, the higher the, 
the, uh, the porn rate goes up, the more people who watch porn, the less rape there is in a state. I mean, there are studies that show the exact opposite, of course, so you can't really say it. It depends on who does the study. Um, the most... No, more like... Um, for example, the most numbers I found on the internet about porn on the internet, how much there is, was um, coming from those people who do those uh, protect our children from all the smut on the net. And they have studies. I mean, they have lots of studies. They have lots of numbers. And those numbers are conjured up from thin air. I could never uh, find the original study, and they just uh, pretended um, to have them. I mean, they were just invented. Um, question. So you, uh, you argue that porn needs to be fictional, it needs to be produced for an audience, but you know, Paris Hilton kind of had a video get out, and um, did that become porn like only after the video got out? I mean, did you retroactively go back in time and suddenly they were producing a porn flick? Because that thing was certainly sold to porn shops. Like, does porn really need to be fictional or produced for an audience? Uh, like I said before, um, for, every ex for every example, there's a counterexample. But I think porn is fictional, and it has to be fictional to be um, arousing. And there's, because it becomes fiction when you cut it and edit it and light it. Then it becomes a fiction. Because when I film the sex I have with my boyfriend, uh, it's not fictional, it's real, because I don't add anything to it. Right? And so pornography um, made for profit, I think that's fictional, always. Even with amateur porn. I mean, then you have, I have, I have a film um, that shows two guys sitting on a sofa talking about how bored they are, and somehow, suddenly, there's a naked woman popping up out of thin air and fucking them. And <laughs> that's pretty fictional. <laughs> Just a comment there. On the other hand, some people may find um, audiovisuals of actual sex to be arousing as well. I mean, like with the Paris Hilton, for example, uh, voyeurism, etc. Um, well, of course, sex is arousing too, but on a <laughs> completely different level. I mean, you have, um, you have the touch, you have the smell, um, you have the taste. And when we watch pornography, we only receive it, I mean, we only see it with the coldest of our senses, our eyes. And um, I think, therefore, it has to be something more than filmed sex, because if it is only filmed sex, then there's something missing uh, to, be, to, to make it arousing. Because I may agree, nice. but some others may not. Um, like I said, there are, there are areas where the borders are very thin, and um, it's very hard to define what, what it all is and what it is not. Yeah. And, um, but I think uh, you have to make a stop somewhere. Absolutely, have, very interesting. You anyway. have to make a cut somewhere. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to know um, how big is your collection and uh, do you, can you recommend some titles? All right, if there are no more questions, I would... Um... <laughs> I would like to cut this short here because the PowerPoint karaoke people have to set up, but if you're interested, um, I'm here. Come talk to me. Talk, right? Thanks.